Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Walanda. And today's discussion, I'm going to be keeping it raw. Raw, raw, raw. Keeping it straight up of my thoughts, my in all perception, my, yeah, how I felt or how I feel now after I done left Atlanta. So if you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know. I did move out of Atlanta, out of Georgia, out of the U.S. I am currently living in Dubai, UAE, and this is my sixth month here. I moved out here in January from ATL, <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. I think this is a good time for me to come to you guys and give my overall official thought of living in Atlanta. I didn't want to do this too soon or too late. So I think a good six month mark is a good in between for me to give you my final thoughts of Atlanta. So if you are probably searching things about Atlanta on YouTube, you're probably moving there, probably getting a job there, probably just visiting for the weekend, then yeah, this is probably going to give you some perspective, my perspective. <laughs> ATL Georgia what it do honestly I love ATL like off rip I love Atlanta just a little backstory of how I even ended up in Atlanta so I moved from Orlando Florida which is just an hour flight and or I think seven hour drive so I ended up moving to Atlanta from Orlando literally just because I could um, honestly, I wanted to be in a city where I can network more. I wanted to create more content, more aesthetically pleasing content. Saying, not saying, you know, Orlando can't do that. It definitely could provide that. But I just literally wanted to be on my own and um, reap the benefits, reap the opportunities that are in Atlanta, Georgia. Keep in mind, I did not know anyone that lived in Atlanta. I tend to do that. I tend to get up and just pack my stuff and go to places where I don't know people. And I found that is literally the best way to move, where you don't know anybody, no distractions. So you just do what you do, do your own thing. So I ended up in Atlanta 2018. Did I reap all the benefits? Did I get as much as I wanted out of Atlanta, honestly, no. But that was on my own doing. I did not have anybody representing me. I still to this day, I am self-managed. So there's so much you can do, so much connections uh, you can get when it comes to not having somebody representing you um, in this type of field. But did I reap some benefits? Most definitely. I felt like being in Atlanta definitely helped my platform grow there was always something to do there was um always some type of content to be like it's it's just Atlanta is a vibe Atlanta is lit it's a vibe in the stage I was at in my life I'm definitely grateful I moved to Atlanta I'm definitely grateful I met the people I met and experienced what I experienced in Atlanta was the first time I'm able to like, get my own apartment which was dope. Um, first time I'm able to put myself in a high rise. That was like the ultimate goal for me to live in a high rise. And I was able to do that in Atlanta from the income I was making from content creating. So that was very, very dope. Huh. Atlanta. Atlanta, you have to definitely know who you are as a person before you go there. And you have to set your own boundaries. Um, there are times where I got up and go and just did things because I could. And even though I know I could, it's just like sometimes I could, I probably could have toned it down a little bit, but I was like, why not? YOLO, I'm in Atlanta. Why not? You feel me? This is what I came for. There are so many pros about Atlanta. Honestly, I feel like the pros outweigh the cons <sighs> until COVID hit. <laughs> 
So the pros of Atlanta, the people there, um, you could definitely find some good, genuine people. Like it just, I attract, thank God, good people because I could definitely sniff like fakeness. I could sniff pretending. I could sniff like bad energy. You feel me? You people don't understand. Like once you are in tune with yourself, once you know what you like and don't like, what kind of characteristics in other people you tend not to gravitate towards, then it'll it'll be easier to have longer lasting relationships. The thing about me, I'm already a standoff ish type of person. Like I'm very I'm reserved. I'm literally I'm a Virgo, okay? And I'm on the cusp of Virgo and what is it? Libra? I'm literally on the cusp, right? So I am very much reserved, 50% reserved. But then I am 50% let me be out. You feel me? Like I'm social. But there are a lot of times I love being by myself. I love being in the house. I love not to be bothered. You feel me? I could have no company for like six months straight and I'll be fine. I, I, that's just how I am. I love my own company. So it wasn't hard for me to to befriend genuine people because, I, like I said, I could sniff that a mile away. If I feel something fishy is going on or something is off with you, then I just keep my distance. Like, that's just how I am. I'm not somebody that's going to be in somebody's face all the time. And this is how the culture is. I don't even think it's only Atlanta. It's any metro city, but just, you know, be careful with these type of people where because you have a following they're gonna want to be in your face or they're trying to always be with you because you know you're quote unquote somebody or there's always somebody everybody's somebody in Atlanta okay so I was always able to just to keep my distance with people I don't really feel comfortable with one thing I definitely didn't do in Atlanta is have people in and out of my house like that like honestly I was there for a good three years. A lot of people that I was hanging out with outside of the house didn't know how inside my house looked like unless they see it on social or something. You understand? So I did not have that foot traffic going inside and out of my house because that's my sanctuary. And I feel like preserving that, preserving my sanctuary, my energy within my home um, didn't distract me from figuring out who's real, who's fake, who's genuine, and all of that good stuff. So you could definitely find good people in Atlanta. Don't get scared. It's honestly, it's literally how you attract or who you attract that's going to come to you. Like, there's some people you could see, like, you, I know I'm not going to hang out with them, but there's some people, it looked like on the outside I won't hang out with them, but then they're really genuine people on the inside, and those are the people I can mess with, you feel me? So that's that when it comes to people. Just society overall in Atlanta is hustle. And I feel like that's a lot of it in the metro areas, metro cities anyways. Um, Hustle, grind, you know, do what you do, get your money, pay your bills, you know, blow whatever you want to blow. That's literally, I feel like that's just the generation now. Um, So you definitely get a lot of that. Atlanta, I want to say it's fast paced. There are definitely young professionals in Atlanta, but like I said, it, they they have that work-life balance going on, which I really do like. Uh, another thing I love about Atlanta, the weather is gorgeous. Coming from Florida, which is always hot, and then I used to live in Chicago, which is predominantly cold with the snow and all of that. I, I just love, love, love Georgia's weather. There's something about the weather that's just a good medium. I love the fall there. I'm a fall girl anyways. That cozy fall, like it gives true fall. It's got, you know, that good Netflix and chill weather. It is perfect when it comes to that. When it's cold, it gets cold. It's, I think um, since I've been in Atlanta, it probably flurried, like flurried a little bit, um, but it gets cold. You got to layer up. And when it gets hot, it gets hot. So that's what I love about it. You literally see all the seasons. And I adore that. I remember when I first got into my first apartment in Atlanta. um, That area is on the cusp of Decatur, Edgewood, Atlanta. 
situation <laughs> over there. The zonings is weirder in Atlanta. And over there, you can see a lot of beautiful, like, is it Victorian style houses? I don't know, the ones with the bricks, the big behind houses on lands and... Oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous. I just love like the atmosphere there. You feel me? It feels cozy and homey and cuddly. I just love it. I just love it. I love the weather in Georgia. I just love it. Financially for Atlanta, it is expensive. It is. It is a pretty penny to live out in Atlanta because it's a booming city. So as with any booming city, the price is going to rise. So I was in, like I said, Decatur Edgewood area the first year I was, first two years. I was there in my apartment and it was very affordable for me. When I first started renting my apartment complex, it was a new building. So I had like the prorated uh, special they had going on for a 590 square footage, I remember. I think 590 or 560. It was less than 600 square foot. One bedroom apartment. It started at 1375 a month. I love that apartment. Like that was my first apartment, adult apartment. It was just me. So it's like a studio style type of, it was real cute. It was real cute. And I don't know if I still have my apartment tour up. I don't know, but it was thirteen seven five. By the time I left that apartment complex, I think it went. I started. I ended up paying like fourteen twenty five or something, fourteen something, and then I ended up upgrading into a high rise, which, like I said, was my all time dream to live in a high rise, and I love that high rise. Like, love it. If I, I wish I could pick it up and pick up my unit and just move it around with me wherever I go. I love the building. I love my floor. I love the amenities. I loved everything about that apartment complex. Um, it wasn't Buckhead, so you know, it cost more. So for um, 800 and something, eight something square footage, I was paying about 2200 So coming from 14, 13, 14 to 2200 was a big jump. But it's in Buckhead. And it is literally right across from Lenox Mall. So I did have a lot of convenience when it comes to the stores around me. But I was not brave enough to walk to no store by myself. So I was in my car. <laughs> like I said, you need a car in Atlanta. So financially, when it comes to food, uh, going out, when you start getting into the mix, you'll find that a lot of people are going out all the time. And a lot of it can be compensated by other people who are invited to you out. So there are times I will be paying, but when it comes to club and stuff, uh -uh, I wasn't paying for that. Nope. I'm not spending a dime in no club. No, 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 no. I better stay home. You know, you'll have a good time. Socially, you'll have a good time. Do I regret moving to Atlanta? Absolutely not. I've learned so much about myself, so much about just people in general, so much about being in the mecca of the black society. I learned so much in those three and some years that I was in Atlanta and I feel like it was for me to grow. It was for me to get to know myself even more. It was for me to expand and just have a new thought process in life and I appreciate that. But baby girl, there are some kinds like anything in life. There are some kinds and the pros weren't worth it for me anymore. So I decided to leave Atlanta. Oh my goodness, the biggest con I will have to say. And it's not just an Atlanta thing, but it's very prominent. Prominent, is that the word? It's very much there, okay? Where is the, the crime? The crime wasn't it. Even if it's not directly to you, it's in places that you either go to. There's always a shooting in a restaurant that I just was at or or I was just at or a restaurant me and my friends go to often or a brunch spot or psh, the mall. Y'all know Lennox Mall is going always 
some type of stuff going up in there or the movie theater. It's always in the common places where you go and enjoy yourself. And that is very annoying. And it makes you not want to get out. It makes you not want to enjoy life. It makes you just want to be like, all right, let me just go to a friend's house and chill out there. And I felt as though this is, there's more to life than this. This is not it. Like, we're so stuck sometimes in the little bubble that we're in and we forget to realize there is a whole world out there. And that's why I enjoy traveling and traveling solo at that. One, I get to sit and really be in my awareness of me, what I like, what I don't like, but also you get to interact with other people, interact and see what's really going on in the world outside of your little hood or your little city, your little state, your little country. So I'm like, so once I started traveling more, I'm like, wow, why am I here? What's the real reason am I staying here? I don't have a legit reason to stay stuck in Atlanta because I, with what I do, I'm digital. I can work anywhere. You're getting this content straight from Dubai right now. You feel me? And it's the same content, if not probably even better. More consistent because I don't have any extra distractions going on. You feel me? I realized with Atlanta, I was just consuming way more alcohol. I'm already an alcohol drinker. Like I love my wines. I love my champagnes. But I realized I was consuming it way too much socially because it'll be friends coming saying, oh, let's just go to brunch. Oh, oh, I just got off of work. Let's go get a drink. And I'm at the house. I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing nothing. Let's go. This is why I stopped drinking alcohol uh, when COVID hit because I was getting bottles and just drinking them at the house on my own for no reason. I was like, uh, 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 uh. One thing about me, I don't like being addicted to anything. Like having something else control me and like, oh, I can't help. No, I don't like that. So I was realizing I was drinking too much alcohol. Um, I was doing a lot of outings, and which I love. But at a certain time, you got to just pull it back some. And I definitely realized that. Being that I was drinking out a lot of alcohol, guess what? The next day, I didn't want to go work out. Being that I didn't want to work out the next day, I'll be home lazy all day and or go out again that night. And it's all a cycle. And guess what? The weight start to gain. Um, the skin starts to go bad. Oh, another thing about Atlanta. Oof, I don't know why, but my skin did not like Atlanta's water. There is something in that water that my skin is not a fan of because every time I was in Atlanta, like... I wish I took pictures and videos of how, but honestly, I started to get like black, like a black ring. It's not a ring, like shadows, a black shadow, like around my mouth, right? And I do have, you know, different pigmented, different spots on my face that are more pigmented than others. It's fine, like around my eyes, around my mouth. But this one, you could really see it was like prominent. It, it just got darker. Like something about the water, it just pigmented my skin, not in a good way. And it was just so weird because I knew it was Atlanta water because every time I left Atlanta, because y'all know I travel a lot. Every time I left Georgia, my skin would clear up. I will go to Florida for the weekend and my skin will clear up. I will go out of the country for weeks and my skin will clear up. And when I get back to Atlanta and start washing my face again with the water, it will darken again. It was the weirdest thing. And my face was so clear and so... I always had acne pro skin. I always had uh, pimple skin. But you could tell when your skin is... it, It has like pimples, but... It's clear. You feel me? It's healthy. It's glowing. When I went back to Georgia using the wash, uh, the washer, <laughs> using wash my face, it made my face very dull and it started to get it like dark and it was just not a good look. It was getting so bad. I went to the dermatologist. I'm like, what's going on? Cause th- this wasn't here. And even on my chest, I started to get like spots. I'm like, what's going on? these weren't here you feel me and it wasn't until I left fully that all of that just started to clear off so 
Georgia purify your water because there's something in that water that is not, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another negative I can say is Atlanta could be very much a distraction when it comes to like, it just depends on what field, it depends on your mindset in life. It could be a, a distraction because, like I said, it's a very social and party scene city. So if you're out partying all the time, yes, you can meet people and all that. But if that's what you're doing all the time, then you're not really focusing on your goals. And I'm at a stage in my life, Atlanta was good when I went there at the age I went there. For some reason, as soon as I hit 27, I hit 27 where? I don't know. I'm in so many places for each birthday. Oh, 27, I was, I think, in DR. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't 27. Once I hit 28 last year. As soon as I hit 28, oh my goodness, I felt the changes. Mentally, I was like, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want this. Like, I don't want to be drinking. I don't want to be partying. I don't want people all over my face all the time. Like, I don't want this. Even though people weren't in my face like that much, but to me, it was still more extra than I normally have people in my face. As soon as I hit 28, like, I was already mature, but I, like, matured into a gum when old person for real for real and now my mindset is just building wealth and peace once you find peace oh my goodness that's literally the best bliss ever and I feel like Atlanta can be very much distracting like it's for the youngins okay it's definitely for the youngins yes on the outskirts it could be peaceful and I love Georgia for that I honestly at one point thought I would settle in Georgia because it's just ugh, the greenery is just so beautiful y'all like if you ever driven down on a highway in Georgia and you just see the greenery the hills the all of that it's just gorgeous 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 I just felt like I was I was done with it I already had a sense of peace of mind um, then coming here, even more peace of mind. I was like, oh, yeah, this is my vibe. Do I miss Atlanta? No, absolutely not. I enjoyed it for the time it, you know, happened in my life, the stage it happened in my life. I don't miss it at all. But I do recommend anybody to go and experience it. If you are a very social butterfly, do, do it. It's a vibe. It was a vibe for me at that stage of my life. Now, I could do without. I was very much getting tired of Buckhead's uh, foolishness, to be honest. It's funny. I was, an influ I was an influencer in Atlanta, but I wasn't really an influencer in Atlanta. <laughs> like, it's funny. Like, But that's just how I am. That's just me. That's just me. Okay? Look, I try to... I try to bring some Atlanta spirit. Got on the Falcons, right? Falcons football, yeah, Falcons. Oh, another thing about working in Atlanta as an influencer, I was able to definitely work with some some companies that I never thought I would have worked with. One, and I was so grateful to you know be able to work with like the Braves and uh, what's that? NFL. I, I can't stress this enough. Know yourself before moving to Atlanta because a lot of people move out there and they definitely change up or and or they try to pretend just to fit in. Like don't try to fit in. Honestly, I would get comments all the time when I'm out with people like, yo, you different. And I'm not saying that, you know, just to boost myself. Not at all. Like, I really did not move like these girls in Atlanta moved. Like, that was not my ammo. That's just me. So just know who you are and stand fast. And don't let the glitz, the glamours, and all of that blind you from your goal and where you're going and who you're 
who you are, how your character is, because what's all gold ain't what's all shiny ain't gold. What what's all y'all know what I mean? What's all glitter ain't gold. Yes, well, all glitters and gold because I've heard some stories and I've seen some things of people trying to adapt to the Atlanta lifestyle, especially the females, and they just fall short right on their butt. So, so an advice I could give to y'all ladies out there who are probably going to go into any major cities, like just stay true to yourself and stay within your means. Do not be jealous of what your neighbor has. Do not be jealous because so-and-so is posting up a certain luxury apartment they just moved in or posting up a, a certain bag they just bought because you don't know what that person did to get that those items or to get that rent being paid. You feel me? So... Like bypass all the social media stuff and um, don't really fall into those temptations. That's one thing I could really honestly say because one thing that left a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to girls in Atlanta, I only could say in Atlanta because that's where I live. I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's in every major major cities. So I'm pretty sure it's like it's I'm not pretty sure it is like here as well. But um, what I could definitely say is social media definitely clouds a lot of people's vision of a reality and I try so hard to uh not try so hard it's not me even trying hard that's just how I am like I will post like real stuff like genuine stuff uh what I'm posting is what I'm paying out of my pocket what I can afford and it's not somebody else financing me you know and I want to put this in this topic really quickly (laughs) really quickly because it's so important because especially in Atlanta um, with all the boyfriends and sugar daddy, sugar daddies and uh, sugar babies, like and just all all types of money that are coming through. I promise you, you will meet somebody who is being financed by somebody else. Whole life being financed by somebody else in Atlanta. Do not fall into that peer pressure. I rambled on, which I knew I was going to. All in all, these are my final thoughts with Atlanta. I did. Love Atlanta for what it was in my life at that period of time. But like some things, you just outgrow them. And Atlanta was a quick outgrow. <laughs> that was quick. A good three month, uh, three years. Yep. I outgrew it. So I don't hate Atlanta. I don't hate Georgia. I just outgrew it. Yeah. So that is that let me know down below if you do live in Atlanta what your what are your thoughts about the city let me know if you're planning on moving and this is your little research that you're doing with that being said do not forget to follow me on Instagram at important underscore chocolate like comment subscribe do all of that good stuff and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video bye